All right, we had a lot of questions about how to plumb up and run the uh, <clears throat> the valves and everything for the lane shark, and it's just easier to make a small video. So you got your lane shark. It tells you nice and simple, pressure, return. Even tells you on the lines whenever they send it to you. You got a pressure side, you got a return side. Your pressure side will come from your third function side. Your return line goes to a third line you have to run and it'll go down here, drop in and come to the supplied T. They send you the T. Just this section here is what they'll send you. This right here is already on your tractor. You just undo it from here, put your T in, put this back on, and that's your return line. And if you have a third function valve, that's that's it. That's the end of it. If you don't have a third function valve, you have to go ahead and put your third function in. But you got your power beyond. It's right here. You'll disconnect that. Tie it in. And then they'll give you another hose. It goes from here. Ties in. Goes back to that same spot you disconnected from. So all you do is just put this valve in place. A lane shark will send you this little deal here. Two buttons turn it on, one button turns it off. You figure out which side is your male coupling on, as far as your switch. And you tie in to that side. So whenever you push these two buttons, it's telling that switch to stay open the whole time. That way, you'll get a continuous flow. And whenever you turn it off, it just stops flow here and your return line that goes back to sump will be a continuous flow so your motor don't just get jammed shut. It's It just slows down on its own. Uh, pretty simple setup, not very hard. Thank you guys.